Okay, so today we're talking about modeling multiplication and division equations. So think about the scales. We talked about the scales with addition and subtraction, and you're wanting to balance it out. And if 15 is on this side and 3 and something else on this side, what would balance it out? Well, of course, you can see it would be 5. So we're going to stop and we're going to solve the equations with a couple of rules. That whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other. And you always must remember to isolate the variable. Get that x by itself. And um, so all of these problems today are going to have multiplication or division with um, a variable. And we're going to model them to show you how this is modeled. 2x is just two bars. And that's on this side. And then the equal sign is represented by this line that's saying whatever's over here is equal to over here. And this says equal to 10. So we need 10 numbers, not bars, to represent 10. And it's positive, so we're going to use... 10 positive bars. Now, sometimes you'll see these, if it's not in color, you'll see these with little plus signs on them. Or it might be uh, white and black, and a legend will tell you, a, a key will tell you what's positive and what's negative. So these are all positive, 10 positive, and of course we can see that this, we would say groups to that. Whatever's over here has to go into two parts. So this groups to that. And how many are in each grouping that goes over? One, two, three, four, five, okay? So now I go back in and I say two, x equals 10, that's my equation, 2, put in what I found to be x is 5, equals 10, and 10 equals 10. And so it checks. It checks out number-wise and it checks out picture-wise. So let's look at the next one. 3x equals negative 9. So again, my x is positive, so I'm going to use these green one's over here, and I need to represent 9 negative. Okay, and I say, okay, I've got 3 here, and I have, I have them split up into 3's, so this is going to go to this one, this is going to go to this one, and this is going to go to this one. So how many are represented by one green bar? It's one, two, three, but negative. So negative three is what balances it out. So let's put it in. Three X equals negative nine is my equation. Three times negative three is the answer that I found equals negative nine. And negative nine equals negative nine. So it's a big check. And it's important to put this back in, even if you can just see it, even if you've modeled it, because this will come in at play a lot later. Um, you'll need to work it out and show all of your steps. And if you get into the habit of doing it now, it'll make it easier later on. Okay, so now we have division. So we looked at multiplication, positives, numbers, multiplication, negative numbers. Now we have division. So the way that I show this, I still have x divided by 2, and I've got 3 positive. 1, 2, 3. Okay? And this x divided by 2 looks like this. Now it is divided by 2. I've shown I've divided it by 2. So this says that these 3 go into each one of these. So this would be positive 3 and positive 3. So my answer, I would add that up for the whole x and that equals 6. And so let's put it back in. x divided by 2 equals 3. 
6 divided by 2 equals 3. 3 equals 3. Check. And there should always be three lines in your check. There should be the equation, the substitution, and then the um, answer. So that looks good. Okay, so this is just representing x divided by 3 in a different way, x over 3. So um, let's take an x, and we want to show divided by 3. So that's divided by 3. And instead of pulling these bars, these um, squares up, I'm just going to represent it with um, lines. And we'll make them circles. There we go. And so that's negative 5, okay? So this is saying negative 5 goes in each one of these. So that's negative 5, negative 5, negative 5. And so, of course, that adds up to negative 15. So let's try it out and see. X divided by 3 equals negative 5. Negative 15 divided by 3 equals negative 5. Yes, negative 5 equals negative 5. So that checks. Okay, so then sometimes you're going to be given a model and you have to say what is being modeled. So it's easy. Um, I've got X four times. So that would be, I would say that that is 4x, and then this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and that's negative 8 because they're red, and this should tell you that uh, negative is red. So um, if I'm to solve this, then that, that's what, so 4x equals negative 8. That's my... That's what's being shown here. That's what's being modeled. And so two of these would go here, and two would go here, and so forth, and so on. And so that, of course, is two negative going into each one. So that's my answer. This is worth negative two, and this is worth negative two. All of these are worth negative two. So four times negative two equals negative 8. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, so therefore negative 8 equals negative 8, and it checks. Okay, what equation is being modeled? So does this look like multiplication? It's divided up, so that would be your clue that it's division, and so it's x, and it's divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, x divided by 6, and this is 4 over here, positive, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's equals, so my equation is x divided by 6 equals 4. And so this is saying four of these go into each one of these pieces. So I'm going to have 4 all the way down. And so I, I add that up and I get 24. So I put it back in, 24 divided by 6 equals 4. Yes, 4 equals 4. I'm all set. Now, if you got something weird here, and it 4 didn't equal 4, you would say, I did something wrong, and you'd go back in and try it again. Okay, so now you're going to see word problems. And this says three packages of gum. Now, packages are going to be your X. And... And let me read through it first. Three packages of gum on one side of the scale will balance 18 pieces. How many pieces of gum are equal to one package of gum? So I'm going to do three packages. This is my 3x, 3x. And I can just go ahead and write the equation out because it might be easier to model it that way. Three packages will balance 18 pieces. So it's 3x equals 18. And then I would have 18 pieces over here. Okay? And so how many would go into each one? Well, it would be six. Six, six to a package. And so let me check it. 3x equals 18. 3 times 6, that's the 6, equals 18. Yes, 18 equals 18.
check. So here's your homework check. And um, you're basically going to have to model on your own paper how to solve this and how to solve this one and put your um, answer, your number answers into your Google Doc in Edmodo. And then, um, and then you have a couple more to model and then to put the answers in. And these are the word problems with the boxes and the pins and balancing them out. And it's just putting into words what the equations say. So um, try this out and we'll go over it in class.